Hello and welcome back. Uh, we've given the door approximately 24 hours or one day to uh, completely dry out after I did the second coat of the Minwax Gel Stain in the mahogany color. And again, this is what the can looks like. Now this is an oil-based gel stain. It's not a, wa a water-based. And again, we applied this to a uh, Thermatrue fiberglass door here. Okay, so I'll put this down here now. And I would like to can the camera just to take a closer look at what the second coat of the gel stain, the type of coverage that it provides, and the uh, you and the uniformity of the coverage, and the in the uniformity of the sheen also. Um, so I think that it did a great job with the second coat to make everything a little bit more uniform. Um, and again, that's the great thing about the gel stain is that you can control the depth of the color with the uh, brush, or you can also use a, uh, a rag too, if, 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 if uh, you don't want it so uh, dark here. But again, the uh, oil-based gel stain, it has a polyurethane in it, um, but on the back of the can here, it, uh, it says down at the bottom, after 20, 24 uh, hours, um, it's recommended um, to apply a, a clear coat on, on top of this for added protection. So what they want you to do is they, is they want you to add a coat of, uh, of polyurethane or a varnish, and that's going to protect it from the elements, the rain, snow, wind, and, 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 and the sun. Because um, if you don't have a, a storm door, then the elements are going to wear away at it. So it's always a best interest to apply a clear coat or a polyurethane on top of it to further add more protection to it. So we're gonna be using this product right here. This is made by Varthane. And uh, this is a exterior and it's a clear semi-gloss okay so we're going and once again I'm, I'm gonna be using my purdy xl stiff three inch brush here okay and as i noted before you always just want to just get a, a new brush because that's going to deliver the best results here so i'll put this down here Grab my five and one to open this here. Now, with the polyurethanes, you don't want to shake these up. You just want to give them a uh, gentle stir. Um, and the reason why you don't want to shake it up is because you don't want to get any air bubbles in it. So the this is a brand new core. Um, and it mixes up nice. And just to show you the, uh, the, uh, the uh, viscosity of this. So I'll take my brush here and wipe it down there. I'm just going to dump this into here. Okay, so I'll put this down here. And with my three inch brush, I'm going to dip it in. And you don't want to dip your brush in all the way. You only want to dip it in like a quarter of the way up. That way you have more con control of the uh, product. And if you dip it in too far, then when you turn the brush all upside down, all the polyurethane will go into the stalk of the brush. And uh, you don't want that because then it's a pain to clean up and then it starts to run all over the brush. So just try to keep it on the last quarter inch of the bristles here. Now again, you wanna work fast with this because you if, if you work slow, 
then it'll dry and you'll come back into it. So you always want to remember to keep a wet edge here. And you don't want to do this on too on, on a hot day where the where, if the door if the door was in the light and the door had had a chance to to uh, to heat up, you don't want to do that because then when you apply the uh, poly, it's just going to dry that much quicker here. Um, so we'll start in the middle here, and I have the door ta taped off against the glass here, so we don't need to worry about getting it on the glass here. And this is going on real nice and easy here. Now with the polyurethane here, it's kind of hard to, to see your work. And the only way to like really see your work or to tell where you've been is to look to the side of it to see the sheen of it. So it's always important to, to look to the left and right and look at the variations of, of the sheen. And that'll help you make sure that you're coating all the areas here. So just work it like that. And then feather it off there and feather it off there. And come to the outside. And come like that. Okay, so that takes care of that there. Now I'm just going to work it into the grooves here. You don't really want to go too fast because again, we're working with oil here. So once you get it on, just con make your brush conform to the grooves or the, or the styles of the door here. And again, with this, you kind of want to work with the grain here. Okay, so. I'm gonna come up and always make sure to um, to come into your work. And I said that before in previous video, so I'm going up into what I just did there. Up into what I did. I'll come across there. And now I'll come down. You have to really pay attention to like the drips here. Uh, so I have a few drips down here. I know it'll be hard for the camera to see, but I'm just going to slightly go into it like that and come up there and come back up. And I'm looking for drips now. No, there's nothing there. This is going on real nice and easy. And one of the reasons is, is because we just stained the door a day ago. Um, so there's really not a lot of surface friction here. Okay, so I'm happy. I'm gonna go around and look for any drips here. There are none. Just go into all the corners like that. So that takes care of the inside of the door here and now we're going to look to the side of it here oh and i see that i dripped there so i'll come back down in, in, into it there come down and that takes care of the inside now we're going to work towards the top and again as you can see i only have the polyurethane loaded up into less than uh, a quarter of the way up of the bristles here so that's very important here We're just going to go nice and slow with this to ensure that we get it into all the, in, into the grain of the door. And come this side, turn the brush around and work it towards the mid, the middle there. Okay, and I'll just come across towards the middle. 
back towards the middle. Okay, now we'll come over here to the top. And again, we're working with the grain here. See now, if, if you were to constantly go down with it, then that's going to force the, uh, the polyurethane down into the stalk. So it's always best to go up with it, but I know it's hard to always go up with it, but I can just go up with it right here and gently, when you get to the top, slow down. Because if you don't, it'll splatter up onto the ceiling or the other side of the door or the other or the back side of the wall right there. So I'm gonna look to the side right there and that looks good. It's covered all areas. Now we're just gonna come down here and go up with it. Go up into what I just did there. Okay, now I can see a drip right here. So I'll uh, clean off the brush there and just come into it there and just and do that there. Okay, I'll come back over here. I'll go easy at the top. And another way to control it is to constantly turn your brush around. You don't want to work the same side of the brush. Uh, it's important to work both sides here. Now, when we come to the holes here, I, I want to get rid of a lot of the poly because I, if, I don't want the poly to go inside of these holes here. So we're gonna. I got a lot of it off there, and I'm just gonna so I'm gonna slowly. I'll just do this here, and then I'll go to the side just to spread the polyurethane around without making a mess or getting it inside these holes here. So once we have it on, then I'll let it come up, stop, come up there, pull off. Work it down there, come up with it, and go up right there. So that takes care of that whole thing right there. Now we'll work this in the middle here. So that takes care of the top. Now I'll feather this off by going with the grain here. Come back over here, work it like that. And again, I'm gonna, there's a little drip there, a little drip there. That takes care of that. So this is fine right here. Now we'll come and work these two styles down here. Now when I get to right there, I can feel it start to drag because this right here has started to set up and it's only been like a few minutes, so that's why you have to work fast here.
take care of the middle here. Come up. And so when I come up here, I'm going against the grain there. So after I do that, I'll come back and go across it there. Okay. again by looking to the side of the door there I'm gonna look for any drips I don't see any down here I'm just gonna wipe away although I don't see any I'm gonna come back and look over here there's something there again so I'll take care of that and I'll just hit that right there so now all we have left to do is this part right here so I'll sit down here and we still have the bottom of the piece of fur right there You, know, you just want to make sure to get rid of any fur or hairs or anything like that. Um, so just bring it down to the bottom, and come up, bring it down to the bottom, come up. And come up with it there, that takes care of that side. I'll bring this side over. bottom here I go down to the rubber and work the poly into the bottom part there and put my brush right there where the grain changes over from up to down to side to side and pull over and pull across and go back into it there I'll look to the side there that looks good and I can tell with the brush I came a little bit into this panel here so I'll just go up like that there, and that takes care of that there. And then I'll put this side here, hit it, turn, turn, turn the brush around, okay? That rids the poly of the brush on both sides there. And come up. Come up, that takes care of the, the right side of the door here. And now all we have is this right here. So I'm turning the brush around to rid it. And I'm coming into what I just did there. Turn the brush down and work it to the bottom of the door and come across. Do that once again, come like that. Okay, so that takes care of the whole door there. And once again, I'm always going to look at my work here. I'm going to look at all the corners here and slightly just dab the corners because this is where it starts to pull up, especially since the door, we're painting a hung door. So gravity is going to pull down the polyurethane. So always go back and look in all your corners there. I'm going to slightly hit that again. Tap that. And that's going to get rid of that. There's nothing, as I look at the top of the door, there's nothing, it's not starting to sag or run. So I'm pretty happy with all this here. Um, yeah, so this door is uh, complete here. I'm just going to hit this area right here again. Okay. Um, So this is my brush here. As you can see, the, uh, the uh, polyurethane or the varnish didn't really get all the way up into the stock of the brush and it didn't start to leak on the sides here. So again, it's very important to keep the polyurethane on the lower part of the bristles here. Um, so we're just gonna give this a few hours to uh, dry out here. And again, this clear coat or, poly or polyurethane is a uh, is another step to fully protect the gel stain that you just applied. Although the gel stain does have a polyurethane in it, 
this is going to ensure that it can hold up to the rain, snow, wind, rain, and sunlight, which can do a lot of damage to a, a door here. Okay, so that's going to uh, complete this video. Of course, I'll show, I'll show some pictures out after this dries here. Um, but I want to thank, thank you all for watching this series. Um, and uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. So until then... Hello, so welcome back here. We got the hardware back on the doors here. And as you can see from, from the footage that you saw, that uh, the close-up footage that you just saw, you can see how the polyurethane dried. And again, I used the uh, Varaspane or the uh, Varathane po polyurethane, and it was a semi-gloss. And again, you can pick that up at your Lowe's or Home Depot. And again, I'll provide a link down in the uh, description here. Um, so again, uh, to, to, uh, to, uh, finalize off the uh, door here, it's all, it's always best to uh, put a clear coat of polyurethane on top of the gel stain that's made by Minwax that we used here. It just adds a, another layer of protection, especially if you don't have a, a storm door to uh, protect it from the rain and the snow and the wind and the sun, because the sun will definitely do a, 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 a number on it here. Um, so, and I gave this po this polyurethane a, a day to uh, dry out here. Um, so that's going to wrap up this, uh, this uh, video. And, uh, once again, we'll, I look forward to seeing you on the next set of, of our videos. So until then.